guys, it is uh, loud for my music. It is <laughs> five in the morning and I've been up. I've, I woke up at two o'clock and slept on and off two to three. From three o'clock to now, I've been like fully awake. This is real, this is happening. My contractions are a minute to two minutes long from like five to seven minutes apart. They're painful. <laughs> They're more painful when I lay down, so I can't lay down anymore. So I'm awake and up. And I just have my relaxation playlist going in the back. <sighs> Your wonderful husband made you some tea? Yes, Matthew made me some tea. I'm gonna try to drink it. I'm. He's gonna make me some eggs. I'm gonna just try to eat like protein. Uh, we have snacks that we're gonna bring to the hospital, which I know we can't eat like during labor, but I might eat some like before, like on the drive, if I can handle the eggs. All right, I'm gonna go back over there and sit down now until the next contraction hits. It is 5.30 now, and here comes my buddy dog. Here comes come Sadie. Here's Mama. Oh. Come here, honey. Come on, Mama. She's still kind of sleepy. Yeah. Sadie's been a very good helper during the everything. Come huh, Sadie, come here. Come here. Oh my gosh, you're not even showing how good of a helper you've been. She, like I said, she's a little sleepy still. But who isn't right now? Sun is barely starting to peek over. Well, it's just not pitch. It's not pitch black anymore. We're doing okay. Just, I haven't called my parents yet. It's, I'm gonna wait till about like 6:15 and call my parents. But we haven't even called the hospital yet. So I'm just trying to stay in labor at home as long as possible. So we will see. All right. It is now 7 a.m. and we are headed to the hospital. We'll just see what they say. I'm sure they'll check me. Surely I have to be dilated somewhat. So yeah, hospital time now. I called my parents. Matt's gonna call his parents soon. Oh yeah, I should do that. And I had to say goodbye to my animals. We'll which makes me sad. Again. Well, they were just, they're a comfort to me, like you said. So. Alrighty, let's go do this. It's now 9.13 and we've been here since like 7.30. So they checked me and I was dilated a little bit. So then we walked around and the contractions hit like hardcore. So now they're just monitoring me and I hope these contractions keep going because they stopped like as soon as I got to the hospital. My contractions like just were so infrequent and I'm like, so I'm just going to relax and try to listen to my body and tell it to get things started again. <laughs> and that's my husband. He's a really good support. <laughs> I'm just here. Yeah, but you're a really good support. <laughs> you're a good support person. Because when we were walking around, you had another, maybe you would have had another contraction by now. There's Matt. Hey, back in the truck. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we're uh, no longer in the hospital. It is what it is. So basically, it's super frustrating, but I just have to mentally get over it and deal with it. Santa was deceived. My it's, body lied to her. My body did lie to me. My body <laughs> said, hey, you have contractions from 2 a.m. to like- Seven. Seven, consistently. Seven thirty. And then when we are on our way to the hospital, they kind of stopped. <laughs> so then whenever, we get to the hospital, they like, I had two contractions on the way to the hospital in the truck. And then when she was putting the monitor thingy on me, I had another one. They just weren't consistent. But then as soon as we started to walk around the hospital, like they instructed us to do, it... It was like would, every four minutes again. Yeah, it would start back up right away. 
well then they're like okay you know come back into the room and we'll they, she was gonna uh, then she was gonna monitor me for half an hour which she did and then they checked me again and there was no change so and she didn't even like try to like look any further if there was any more change she was really nice so she's like you'll probably go home and everything and I'm like yeah go figure like it's it is what it is I can't control anything about it because she said no matter what like yeah I'm, I can move around all I want and it's just gonna keep you know those contractions but if they're not doing anything then it's just not gonna do anything so she said when I'm in active labor I can be sitting and it's still going to come like one right after another so I'm definitely still in pain like I'm just uncomfortable and I'm tight as soon as we walked outside of the hospital after we were discharged I had a contraction in the parking lot a big one too it, like it, it hurt you a lot it looked like and I think I'm having one now bumps some positives like she said eat light so I've got a subway because I've been up since 2 a.m. she said take a nap which that's no problem at all and who knows what this afternoon will bring let's see what happens next <laughs> having contractions while I'm sitting down so oh hey and my kitty cat came to sit on my lap that makes me so happy so now I just don't know when to go in next I know I'm gonna overthink it here comes one I think I don't know yep Bearing down on contractions. So it is. It's 11:15 ish. So at least that's what I think it says. But I ended up getting an epidural. Me going into this, I didn't really want to. I have nothing against them. I never did. But I just really wanted to try to go natural. But have like a little bit of IV intervention. So I ended up getting an epidural. It really wasn't bad at all. I have no complaints really. Like, yeah, we were, Matt and I were really kind of nervous about me getting one. Cause you read so many like horror stories and stuff, or at least that's what people like talk about the most. But for me, it wasn't bad. And I would get one again if I needed to, but we just, we tried and it was too much for me and I just, I couldn't labor right, I couldn't breathe right to like help the labor, so I'm like, we gotta do this. So now we're actually gonna get some sleep. So it looks like July 13th will not be Hazel's birthday, <laughs> but that's okay. So hopefully that epidural will just help things along and I'll just continue to dilate. So I'm four to five centimeters the last time they checked. So, yeah, now I'm just going to go to bed, and so is Matt. Matt's been a very, very good help. So, yeah, alrighty. I'll talk to you guys later. Am I going to have a baby? <laughs> what a thing to wake up to, huh, babe? I know. She shoots as a button. Oh, I'm 
cat. Love you. Thank you too. What do you think? It's amazing. <laughs> She just came right out after he... It's gotta be difficult, huh? Mm -hmm. Me, not her. If you if it, if you can't wear it to work, if it's like an entrapment issue, if like you have machines or something, you can take it off. It's just you, um, you want to leave it at home. Don't bring it. Leave it or lay around. Oh, did you get? You get jewelry too. Oh, you're okay. Don't be so dramatic. You have your mouth you're off. Okay. You get jewelry too. You're okay. Put a security tag on her. That goes on her umbilical cord. Mm -hmm. so we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Oh no! It's okay. Oh, your skin's so soft. Ouch. Your skin's so soft. Oh. You're practically. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. Everybody meet Hazel.